exactly are you documenting? Yeah, Anybody sort of standing around sees a drawing board in front of them that's blocking the setup? You want to just push away for now and the easels so that you've all got a clear view of the setup? Foundation Studies is, I think it's just a completely unique program. The classes start at 8 in the morning, and like today we go until 6 at night. So this is the longest drawing course I've ever experienced in my life as a student or a teacher. It's about exploring new techniques and being ambitious and creative thinking and uh, really analyzing and critique, but without so much of a sense of product, more really exploration. I'm really impressed with the level of our students. By the end of the semester, they have drawings that, to me, look just incredibly confident. You know the symmetry with the darks on the sides? The yellow and the orange is like kind of blocky. Make it bluish or slightly darker so that it looks like... Is that the greenishness? Yeah. yeah, maybe more green, dark, cool colors. Here at RISD, the critique is, uh, it, it's, it's the end point of a project, but it leads into the next project. That is, it, it allows you to reflect and have a somewhat more objective view of your work. These things are communication devices. They are talking to the world. And who are they talking to and what are they saying to the world? The foundation program is really intense. I have to spend a lot of time on my work and you know compensate a lot of playtime, but that's fine because we really enjoy doing our artwork. There's been a lot of paintings for me that like they take something out of you emotionally because like you you have this attachment to it and then once it's finished you like it's like a release. It's like something clicks and something like moves on in you. Students don't always appreciate when they're doing it, how much work they're doing, that they are getting a lot of work done. I mean, a pile of work. As I tell them in thinking of the future, employers, other schools, grades are one thing, but really it's your portfolio that really, really counts. Not to be bought, it was. And try to let it sink down in there by itself. Paige, go, go, go. The important thing about foundation is uh, trying to establish with the students that this is a visual language. We pay a lot of attention to developing formal skills as well as skills related to the media. So they have a, a way of building on these skills then once they go into a major field of study. This white part's the case mold. This is the rubber mold. Now I'm going to have to mix up plaster and pour it in here and then once that sets take it out and clean it up. You really have to think before you do anything because like once you mess up, especially like plaster and stuff, like you're kind of done. We've only been here a couple months, like, but we've grown so much in our artwork. It's really awesome. In 3D, I learn a lot of composition which I can use in 2D and drawing as well. And then drawing in 2D teach me a lot about like line quality and the quality of the mark and things like that. So it all integrates together. It's, it works really well. Foundation students uh, come from all different kinds of backgrounds. It's that first year experience where the most changes occur, I think, in terms of ways of thinking and uh, dealing with ideas related to visual language. That is probably the most dramatic uh, period in their four years. We don't put a superficial effort into this. Everybody's very committed and very passionate about what they do. Okay. So that's the main thing. Just let that sit for a little bit. Uh, probably can start stirring that now, Emily. Um, let's put the lid on the.